Hello there guys and welcome back to another Epic in X-Rule Maths video. We're looking at some more A-level maths today. We're looking at proofs specifically using odd and even numbers. So we mentioned this, uh, we got at this a little bit in the previous video. We looked at an example with odd and even numbers. This is something very common and you need to know for your A-level maths exams um, to use this skill, this ability, this tool um, of expressing odd and even numbers in this way as I've written below um, without necessarily being explicitly told to do so. So as we'll see in a second, you can get questions in your A-level maths exams that ask you to prove things. And the method to do that is to use odd and even numbers without there necessarily being odd and even numbers in the question. So that's what you need. You need to realize that you need to use odd and even numbers to do the question without it mentioning odd and even numbers, if that makes sense. So uh, as a quick recap of the previous video, we can write an even number in the form 2 times k, where k is just some arbitrary natural number. And remember, a natural number is a counting number. So any number 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, all the way, infinitely many of those, just counting. Just, you know, if you had an infinite number, number of uh amount of time you know just if you just kept counting you'd count all of the natural numbers that's that's what a natural number is um two times any natural number is always an even natural number isn't it of course because all odd and even numbers are natural numbers but if you double any number regardless of whether it's even or odd to begin with it becomes even therefore if you double any number regardless of whether it is odd or even and then add one to it it must be odd because it's on the two times table, but then plus one. It's not on the two times table, if that makes sense. It's not even. So you can write them in this form. So let's have a quick look at a question. Here's the first question. Prove that n squared minus n is always even. Okay. So here's the situation. We need to consider the case where n is odd and the case where n is even. We need to do these separately. So what you definitely should not do is just start writing out numbers for n. Like, okay, let's try 1. Let's try it when n is 2. Let's try... Because you can't do this. The reason you can't do this is because it would take you an infinite number of time to prove it for every n. You want to show it for every single n. So any number, regardless of whether it is even or odd, if you square it and then take away the number itself, that is always an even number. How do we prove it? Well... We consider, let's do the evens first. We consider the case when n is even, okay? If n is even, then n can be written as 2k, where k is an integer. So you would write 2k, k is an element of the natural numbers. I said k is an integer, k is a positive integer, or a natural number, whichever is your preference. They're the same thing. If k is a natural number, then what we can simply do is substitute in. So n squared minus n becomes 2 k squared minus 2k. We're just replacing n with 2k because we're saying n is even. If this is the case, we square the 2k squared, we end up getting uh, the 4k squared, and then we just take the 2k away, minus 2k. To prove that this is even, we simply factor a 2 out. Okay. We could also factor out a k, and you might be tempted to do that, but don't. Only factor out the number 2 because you're trying to prove that it's even. You're not trying to factorize it completely. You're just trying to prove that it's even. So to do that, you just factor out a 2. The reason you factor out a 2 is because 2k squared minus k, this in and of itself must be a whole number because it's just 2 times a whole number squared minus a whole number. This is always going to give you another whole number. We can call this number, I'll just say it's q. So this is equal to 2q isn't it? So 2q, the thing is about 2q, is that because q is an integer, or is a natural number, 2 times q must also be a whole number, or q is a whole number, so 2 times it must be even. So therefore, essentially, if n is even, this works. If n is even, you can write statement holds, or something like that. Statement holds. Okay, so we've proven it for half of the numbers. We've proven it for the even numbers. When n is even, this works. Okay, when n is even, n squared minus n is, is also even. Okay, now we need to show it for when, it, when n is odd. So let's say n is odd now. Okay, and we'll, we'll do the same thing. If n is an odd number, we are going to write n 
as let's say 2k plus 1 where also again k is a whole number k is a natural number so what we end up here we, we do the n squared minus n so n is 2k plus 1 so 2k plus 1 squared minus 2k plus 1 and we want to show that this is also even how do we do that well we can expand it out so this is equal to 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 that's the square bracket expanded out minus 2k minus 1 that's the second bracket here being expanded out then we can group up some terms 4k squared 4k minus 2k is just plus 2k and 1 minus 1 is 0 so it's just this and once again this can be written as 2 times 2k squared plus k again 2k squared plus k this must be a whole number we'll call this one q as well because why not q again has to be a natural number a counting number so 2 multiplied by it must be an even number specifically therefore uh, we can say that it's equal to 2 q and we can say therefore again the statement holds for statement holds for odd numbers as well there, there we go We've, and there's only odd or even numbers no other numbers exist if we're talking about whole numbers and positive ones so the conclusion to this one you can just write is that therefore this is your conclusion make sure you write this therefore n squared minus n is always uh, even it's always even regardless of whether the number itself is even or odd it's always even that's how you prove that one okay guys so we've got another one to check out right here this says prove that the difference of the squares of two consecutive even numbers is always divisible by four so take any um, even number square it and then take the even number that is uh, one you know the next even number so you know uh, six and eight or 22 and 24 you know the next even number the difference between when you individually square those numbers the difference between them is always divisible by four let's prove that so we are not going to need any uh, odds right now we're just going to need some even numbers right here and remember we can express even numbers in the form of 2k so what I will say is if we have one even number the first even number is going to be uh, let's say 2k so we're gonna have 2k as our first even number the next even number this implies the next one the next even what would that be well it would just be two more than that right so the next even number is just 2k plus 2 that's the next even number because all even numbers have a difference between them of 2 so if we square these so what we end up with is and of course because we want this to be positive let's uh you know the difference of two consecutive let's do uh 2k plus 2 squared minus 2k so we're going to work out what 2k plus 2 squared is and then we're going to minus the 2k squared this is the difference of the two consecutive even numbers then we're going to expand this out so we're going to get 4k squared plus 8k plus 4 okay that is 2k plus 2 squared and then we're going to minus 4k squared because that's the 2k squared awesome then we can cancel out a few of these terms so the 4k squared cancels out with a minus 4k squared and we get left over with 8k plus 4 don't we because the 4k squared cancels out and we want to show it's divisible by 4 this time not by 2 we're not showing that it's even although it is even we want to show that it's divisible by 4 so to show something's divisible by, by 4 you simply factor out a 4 from it because any number that's divisible by 4 has 4 as a factor so we can write this as 4 times 2k plus 1 okay amazing and 2k plus 1 must be a whole number because k is a whole number we've already said that it is so times that number by 2 still a whole number add 1 to it still a whole number so this is 4 times a whole number so maybe we can write that as 4 times I don't know m why not it doesn't matter what the letter you choose is 4m and we just specify that m is uh, a natural number in and of itself um, and then that's it that's that's it proven guys four times some number that means it's divisible by four you can divide it by four and you can still get a whole number m whatever m happens to be so your conclusion is just therefore 
and then you would just write out you know the sentence again so you know whatever it is 2k plus 2 squared minus 2k squared is divisible by 4 for all k for all k all values of k amazing and that is the that's the proof of that one right you can also say therefore and just repeat the question but that takes longer but that's the idea of it that's how you use odd and even numbers in a proof um hope that was helpful and i'll see you in the next video cheers